A matchup we haven't seen before. Inkling fighting off against Snake. John Numbers taking down Nixie in a potential upset previously. I mean, we saw that Nixie loved a wall jump, so John literally went by by the skin of his teeth. Nick S D and John won. What a what a what, what a, a world we live in. If we can if we get numbers in these winners finals, yeah. can we please not? Um but uh, yeah, I mean, right now we have. Uh, John. I definitely don't want John versus Sinji winning finals. Yeah. Oh my god! For those that don't know, that was a Smash Four, like for like the first year of that game's lifespan. That's all we saw in yeah, finals. Yeah, that's all we saw. But um, yeah, right now we have um, you know, the new John Numbers main, uh, Inkling. Yep. So Inkling's a character that's uh, very rushdown heavy. Likes to get into the opponent's faces and just like push all sorts of buttons while also having a splat grenade to help out with like, you know, just throwing it out there, having this active hitbox that the opponent has to respect. But this is gonna turn into like a grenade versus grenade battle, honestly. Yeah, and the thing about Inkling is like, uh, when Inkling's dashing around like that, it's actually shifting down her hurt box. So, oh, Furry? Oh yeah, oh, so in this Britain. matchup, you don't want to tech against Inkling. If you tech, that's gonna be a free splat. Yeah, you know, if you, if you get buried like that, you can tech out. Uh, I mean, you mean you can't mash out, but it's pretty hard to mash out. You have to mash pretty yeah. hard. Oh, caught him with the C4! And he did not see it. It was under the paint. It was under his paint. He did not see it. Dude, John Numbers covered the, the remote bomb. That's All right, cool. here we go. The thing is, he did just drop it and immediately took, took it off. Seeing so, yeah, 154%, John has yet to take any damage just yet. So Snake wants to cook his grenades, right? He wants to bring them out. Wait for them to, uh, before throwing them, he wants to make sure they're a little bit cooked, but does not matter. Gets grounded by the splat roller. Number second away, uh, Sage's stock. Yeah, I mean, the, the, one of those moves, uh, it's kind of reminiscent of Bowser Jr. side B, um, but it actually is good. So it buries people, and you can kill them at later percents. And like I said, it's very hard to match out of there. We got some whiff grabs going on. He's trying to apply some pressure with the first swing of forward tilts. Yeah, and a lot, and a lot you know, a lot of shield stone on that, so John wasn't really sure he could really punish them. So... See, so that move is so this move is kind of funny because the only real way to get out of that is if you a move away, b parry it, or c you can roll through it, but that's kind of risky. And we got all of this ink going on Snake, and what that's going to do is just decrease Snake's defense from uh, for Inkling to be able to attack on as much damage as possible. When you're fully inked, that is 1.8 times more damage. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, and rapid jab is a good move to just try to add on as much as possible. And if Snake got any buffs from Brawl, it is definitely the Nikita Missile. That comes out super fast now. Oh, yeah, and it, it kills. like It's really yeah. strong. And oh, then, that was a great air dodge coming out from Dekil Sage. He recognized that John Numbers wanted to destroy his Cypher, managed to save his air dodge in the nick of time to be able to get out of there. So, and I think that's that's where um, this game will be won. If John could go out there and really like edge guard Snake pretty hard, because like even though Snake, you could air dodge and all this other stuff and get back to the ledge easier, Snake really can eat a lot of damage off stage. I think that's what you know Sage is fearing. Oh, he came on with a neutral air. Shields, shield grabbed it out of it, decided to go for the trade with the grenade. That's kind of like what snakes want to do. They have to accept that they're going to get take damage from their explosives. But in the process, they want to trade their attacks, especially if they have a stock lead. And this is funny right now, because John is just running up and shielding, anticipating that uh, the pill stage is going to throw out an up tilt. And he wants to retaliate, but... What the heck? Good tech coming out from Sage. All the explosions coming out, still living at 219%. Yes, he's a heavyweight, but he's like top 15 or something like that. So there's a C4 planted right behind. Oh, uh, you don't go run into that. I, oh yeah, dude, I saw I saw John. Those are, they see that C4 right in front of the to kill Sage. Jump back on that left platform. Not sure if John's aware of it. And uh, I'm not sure if up tilt is safe, but it just seems like uh, John is having trouble punishing it. And if it is safe, then, you know, can't do anything about it. Spacing out that down tilt. You're going to see a lot more down tilts coming out from Sage with this snake. Snake's at 231% right now. I cannot Welcome believe it. Welcome to Brawl, like, boys. Well, the thing is, Inkling has problems killing if they can't get the roller to connect because they need, like, a smash attack. But eventually, you know, if you're at 250%, a back throw will kill. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so right now, um, the kill is going to try to get this kill. And this is an another setup you could do. Trump. Got the Trump. Yeah, and if you if you get up too early, you can get hit by that. He's gonna be able to mash out of that. Yep. Numbers messed up the cancel of the spot roller a little bit. Can we get a big punish? Try to go for the back air. Yeah, did not get the punish that he wanted to. Okay, it's still not killing. I'm surprised he didn't go for the down throw and try to like you know read attack option. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another roller. Managed to mash out just in time. Tried to go for a punish, but the forward smash had a little bit of cooldown. Okay, and he, but the thing is, he's running out of ink. This could be imperative for John to just try to chill back. 
Because now if Inkling doesn't have Ink to play with, her attacks become pretty useless. Or don't work at all. So this is the time for John to push the aggression. There he okay. goes. Back throw. Still living. Still like, what is going on here? 228%. There yeah. we go. One more grab. Now Snake is at a dangerous percent already. Yeah, and Inkling uh, gets that refill. And, yeah, and that is not safe on chill, ladies and gentlemen. If <laughs> Inkling does that, yeah. you can shield it, and she will stop right in her Always, tracks. always shield Splat Roller, because it's a very devastating move. If he gets caught by the Splat Roller, that is the game. Yeah. So Sage has to keep that shield up. Yeah, the, and there's counterplay to it. Like, you can hit him. You can oh, hit him he caught him at a super jump. <laughs> All right, he's going to live off of this. Shoot, shoots him in the face. He just gets some stage control. Yeah. Reloading and sink. Okay, sitting at 206. Oh, he gets caught by the down smash. That's going to be game number one going to John Numbers. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, just like you said, uh, the kill side is going for a lot of trades in that match. But, uh, you know, once he couldn't get that kill at that late, you know, in the second stock, mm. John kind of ran away with it. Because, uh, you know, with Inkling's movement, Snake having to catch, you know, Inkling running around the stage like that, it's kind of hard. And just, to, you know, just to say that Inkling, when Inkling runs, low profiles into the ground. <laughs> And there's a big, broly man like Snake having to catch that character. It seems kind of annoying. It can be super aggra uh, aggravating to deal with sometimes. Like I said, it also looks like his roller as well. Got a counter pick coming out, going to a Metal Gear Solid stage. <laughs> but in Battlefield <laughs> 4. Shout out Moses Battlefield, you're cool. Um, oh, this is, a, this is a killer remix. I love this song. Yeah, good music, man. No, that's, that's one, one of the good things about this. Yeah, you have Battlefield versions of every single stage, and they're all, you know... From what I know, um, same in perspe uh, perspective. So. Oh, yeah. Every, every single stage has the same specs. But right now, um, you know, Sage going to the stage with platforms, because you know, the C4 explosions and the grenade explosions are pretty big. So even if you're standing under it, you're going to get hit by it. Devin turned up the game music. I love this. It's so good. Nice up tilt coming out from Sage. Cats in the air dodge. Now at this point, like I said, John knows this matchup from the Brawl days, so he knows how to how to do, work with the grenades. However, he is playing a new character. There's Inkling coming out. Yeah, and he's, and he's setting up that trap with up smash. Yeah, the reason he sets up that trap is that it allows the opponent to panic and maybe force him into a situation where Sage can re-grab him. That's where Snake's game's gonna thrive, trying to get these grabs. That was a good recovery coming from John, opting to mix it up where he was going to go. And he actually went through the up, like, narrowly avoided the up smash. Yeah, and the, the kill stage still um, committed to that double up smash and didn't really punish John on that landing because he was not, he had a lot of landing on that of that. Down tilt? Yeah, he's at 191. He that's fair. No, that's honestly <laughs> fair. 191. That's, usually, that's probably going to be his punish move of choice because it's super quick and has a lot of length. Again, Seam catches him rolling. Forward smash is going to be able to lead to his kill. Yeah, man, so, you know, so even game right now. Once to get that forward tilt to apply some shield pressure. Yeah, so uh, it, it's good that John is really putting the pressure on the kill sage. Because if you let Snake, you know, run away from you, set up all these grenades and bombs, like, you're just going to get hit and trade and not a fun sight. Oh, yeah, point blank shielding that. But jab into forward tilt? Yeah, setting up that trap again. And John, you know, John rolling right through it. Ooh, looks like a missed input by Sage. Yeah, anytime he goes for a forward, he never, he very rarely wants forward smash. Yeah, and, you know, and John playing that range battle with Snake because he knows when Sage is setting up the grenades like that or in the area around him, he knows that he wants to trade, he wants to attack on a whole bunch of damage. So he's using his own projectile to deal with that projectile. So good stuff by John. Okay, try and recover high to avoid. Good caught trap being set by Sage. I didn't even see it coming. He had a C4 down there. And then uh, it, it just seems like John is rolling over the C4s with the paint. And then and they're just gone. But again, a great edge guard coming out from John immediately. He taunted. Hey, and, and you can cancel those taunts, so he got Yo, out of danger. Yo, Woomy. Yeah, you can taunt cancel this game, dog. Not Snake. Snake cannot. Any no, because any taunts that have like an attack on it can't be canceled. Uh -huh. And he, he spawns a box when he taunts. Same thing with like Luigi's down taunt. Okay. Okay, nice down tilt trying to cover any. He's sticking Ooh. him. Nice catch. You just, okay, at that point, when you sticky someone like that, you're just trying to like uh, wait for them just to push any button and just let it loose. Also, Sage is definitely playing the trade game. 
He doesn't matter if he gets caught by a grab or whatever. If he has a grenade spawn, he'll gladly take that trade because he has a giant lead right now. Yeah, and you know, he's, he's a heavy character, so it's going to take a lot more for Inkling to kill him than the, than the other way around. He's got to be careful, though. That It's starting to get even. Yeah, and this is part of the matchup that Sage is definitely worrying about. Oh, Up tilt on the edge of the stage. Woohoo! To kill Sage. Taking away game number two. Oh, my God. It's, like, it's almost like we're back in 2008 again. Yeah, dude. I, this is great. I, I, I'm getting, like, nostalgic feelings watching this somehow. Even though this is the first ultimate tournament and I've never seen Inkling play. Hilarious. Ooh. This is hilarious. This is like the funniest thing ever. If Sage makes it to winners finals, I, I swear to God, to kill Sage told me he, he was prepared to go 0 2 today with Snake. That is such a Sage way to up tilt. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, that yeah. <laughs> literally just went 10 years in the did past and just did it. He just did it. He did it like facing the wrong way and everything. Yeah, so, you know, going straight into uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Here we go. I mean, this is like, everyone's pretty much agreed this is like the new Smashville, quote unquote. Everyone loves this stage, dude. The, yeah. du the dual plats. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to love this stage until a character just dominates on it. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll wait for that day. Oh, yeah. It's still like week one, so we'll, we'll see how the meta evolves. Yeah. But well, all things considered, it is a nice stage. Um, but right now... We have Numbers winning the trade war. Yeah, I, don't know I, I think Numbers is discovering that Splattershot is blowing up the grenades, even when happened. he throws them. Is that what happened? Ooh. Yeah, I saw it was happening oh, there. And John I, messed up. He didn't get a smash attack. And now he's out of ink. This could be the time to push the offensive for Sage. Oh, he let him breathe. Okay. Yeah, he's taking out a lot of damage right now. John's going to get that forward air. Yeah, man, I feel like, you know, it's very important for John to take a stop. Yeah, he misses the opportunity to kill, and that is not it. No, he's gonna live from that. If he gets one more throw into like a back throw, using the cipher to just give himself some leverage, it's got that is death. There's no way you're breaking out of that. Way too high a percent. You know, if you mash out of that, man, we might uh, not, we might need to give him like to hospital or something like that because you cannot mash that fast. Yeah, so. whiff grabs come from both players. <laughs> yeah, say so he's trying to throw him into that grenade. It didn't work out for him. Yeah. Too. Just throw him, toss him. Look at that splatter shot. Again, he can't throw his grenades at a close distance, anyways. Yeah, and I like what John's doing. Like, John's playing very patient. He's making Sage come to him. And he's yeah. only taking 0.3 damage, honestly. Yeah, because, you know, if, if it's. Because, look, you have to leave right now. If it's the other way around. He threw the grenade high to avoid the splatter shot. Smart stuff coming up from Sage. Oh, he let go of shield. I think he was trying to parry it, honestly. He was trying to parry and get a strong punish. Yeah, because that probably would have been his death if he got that parry. Oh, yeah, 100%. Inkling's dying at 100%. Well, he's taking a lot of damage because he's got some ink on him. Lower defense. Sage mashed out and hit the grenade instead. Oh, wrong direction! No! To kill Sage, trying to turn it around. Yeah, he probably expected the cross up because, like, you know, you normally expect a cross up in any other game, but in this game, you cannot. Only certain moves can pass through opponents. So, forward throw. Nikita, nice catch. It's so quick. Yeah, and you know, even though it's December, still no tech numbers in. <laughs> oh, no. That's a whole stock lead for John. Sage has a giant hill to climb. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, dude. Yeah, I mean, John's pretty much been in control of this game. Yeah, and like all the momentum has been in John's favor. He's playing out of control. And it seems like ever since he learned how to deal with the grenades, uh, it seems like Splattershot is blowing up the grenades. Um, John is playing a more projectile-based game, so he does not have to deal with the projectiles up close. Well, actually, you know, wait a minute. Sage is doing a pretty good job not taking too much damage here. Yeah, 74%. Okay, now we got the combos coming out from John. Oh, and he got caught by the spot dodge? Yeah, oh, 0 to 75, as soon as you said that. Hey, back throw. Trying him to that, that grenade. There. Throwing out all the bombs and grenades. Just goes for the raw dash attack. That will kill eventually. Not this, this early, though. Trying to get him out. Good trap set up from Sage, he, forcing the roll onto the stage. He throw a grenade, two up smashes, just so, just so you can roll and you can up tilt him. And Sage is not out of this just yet. The final stock, winner of this stock, is going to move on to uh, winner's finals to face off against Sinji. John does have a lead by a mere 60%. Numbers could easily, or Sage could easily break this gap. Okay. Get 100%. Nice patience by John. He has to recover high. Ooh. Snake is a sitting duck when he tries to recover low, which is why you'll see snakes go that high all the time. 
Hayes goes for the shield. Got caught by the roller, then right in front of it. Good mash oh, out good. coming from Sage. Good mash out. John looked like he you know, messed up a little bit also. Okay, yeah. recharging his ink, recharging his ink. He tried to cancel the roller so he can get that up smash. He is thinking about roller. The one thing on John's mind is roller. If he connects a roller, that will be the set. And I know Inkling has some type of like down throw to up air kill confirm. I don't know the window. John cannot do it. Okay. John sucks at it, so like, <laughs> he told me himself. He cannot do it. So and the splatter shot is just actually just blowing up the grenades. This is yeah, dude. So he's gotta throw it high. Gets caught, Ooh. finds an opening. Okay. You know, and say it's still at 116%, man. So he's definitely not out of it. It's gonna take a little bit more for him yeah. to kill reasonably. Like I said, Snake is a heavyweight. And good, and good grenade by John. Just alleviate some of that pressure that Sage is putting on him while the grenades are And there's a C4 plant on that left platform. I'm oh, yeah. pretty sure John's aware of it. Gonna try to stay away from it. Oh. He's looking for a grab to try Ooh. to get the combo into it. Oh, that was super close. He almost got grounded. I don't know what happened. John yeah. just stopped. Yeah, Sage was waiting for him. Man. He's waiting for him to go to that platform. And John kind of scouted it out. Yeah. At this point, Sage just wants to stay airborne. Because if he's on the ground, he's a sitting duck for that roller. Because the roller will not ground you if you're midair. Seeing way too many rolls, Sage! Gonna get caught by that forward smash, and John Numbers moving on to winner's finals. Yeah, man. Uh, so we have John Numbers, Sinji winner's finals, guys. Yeah, right there. I mean, you saw he did three rolls in a row. I'm not sure what was going on. Maybe he just ac the accidental buffer system. Sage was mentioning that he's not using the buffer system just yet, and we definitely saw that just happen. I three mean, rolls in a row. What the heck?